Hey guys, welcome back to another What's for Dinner. And you can probably hear that my voice is still a little bit funky. I'm not 100% over whatever this was. Um, still got, mostly it's in the morning when I feel kind of like there's something going on. But I'm tired all the time, so I don't know. As I said before, I don't know if it was the monster. Didn't ever get tested for it. Because, honestly, I could not sit for that long and wait. Because I couldn't sit <laughs> for very long whenever I first got sick. And then by the time I started feeling like, you know, I was good enough that I could have done that, I probably wouldn't have tested positive if I did have it from everything that I read. So, I don't know if it was that or not. Whatever this is, it's lingering. Um, so, it's another kind of lingering monster. I feel okay. I'm able to do my chores. Um, I'm able to do the things that I want to do. I just have to, um, kind of limit myself a little bit right now because I get tired very easily. But, um, I've had no more fever. I only really had fever one day. Had no fever had um mainly it's just like it feels like a head cold now and fatigue um so just want to let you guys know about that i did lose my sense of smell for about a day but only a little like i didn't lose it completely so i don't know what that was about but i never lost my sense of taste so i don't know and as long as i can taste my coffee i'm okay <laughs> no, seriously. Um, I'm okay. <laughs> but yeah, I do love my coffee. So, let's talk about what we had for dinner. Sunday, which was the 2nd. This is for January 2nd through 8th. This is the 2nd. I was feeling okay, but I was still feeling a little bit run down. Um... On December 31st, I had kind of overdone it and shouldn't have been doing, like, I washed all of the laundry that needed done, all the extra laundry, um, and done, did all this different stuff. So, I probably shouldn't have done all that stuff, but I did it, and I ended up making myself really wore down. So, on Sunday, I was going to cook spaghetti and meatballs and garlic toast because... Um, Selena had asked for that. And I'm like, yes, that is super easy. I can do that fast and easy. It would take no time. Well, I was going to do it, but then Noah said, I want to cook it. And I'm like, what? He said, I'll cook it. I'll cook it because you don't feel good. So, Noah cooked us dinner that night. <laughs> and he can cook more complex meals than spaghetti and meatballs. He can do a whole lasagna. I mean, a very good lasagna. And I don't know why, but people think that doing a lasagna is something that, if you can do that, you can do anything. <laughs> Sometimes I believe it's true because I've had some bad lasagna. But anyway, he made us spaghetti, meatballs, and garlic cheesy toast. <laughs> It was very good. And then on Monday night, we had a fend for yourself just because we had some leftovers and that we didn't want them to waste. So then on Tuesday, we had pork chops, macaroni and cheese, and black eyed peas. Um, the pork chops were grilled. Jeff did those. And, um, you know, everything else was cooked inside. The black eyed peas were leftovers. It was a super simple meal. Um, Wednesday, we had chili because Noah wanted it, and it was very good. <laughs> I do have a video on how I make my chili on my channel if you guys want to check it out. On Thursday, we had Rotel and chips. Like, they weren't really chips. Um, I'll go grab them and show you what I'm talking about. The reason why I wanted to go grab them is because I couldn't think of what they were called. They're tostadas. I had these over there for a while, and um, we just weren't eating them. So I was like, uh, we need to do something to get rid of that. And I had been wanting to make some Rotel dip anyway. And then um, I decided I'm going to do that. So I did that and some pizza bites, which... Um, I was supposed to do the pizza bites for a video back in December, 
we did have them in December. But I was supposed to do them for a video and then my internet messed up. It was a collab thing. But, um, so I didn't get to do it. But I had enough to make pizza bites again. And if you'd like to see how I do that, let me know in the comments below and I'll show you. But we just kind of had a finger food night that night. And what I did with these is I just heated them, like toasted them a little bit in the oven. Not really toast them, but let them warm up a little bit. And they were great for the hotel. And then on the night that we were planning on doing it, that I had put it on the menu plan, I think it was that same night. Um, it might have been the night before that I had put it, um, that it was on here for, because I make my menu plan before. Um, I saw Mel from um, In the Kitchen with Mom Mel. I think that's right. Anyway, right now my brain's not functioning right. It's still early. Um, but anyway, she was talking about making Rotel, and I was like, I told her, I said, I've been wanting to make Rotel. I've been planning on making, you know. But anyway, that's what we had. And I told Jeff and the kids, I said, we should do this finger food thing every once in a while. I know it was a little bit more, um, in some ways, it was a little bit more prep, but it was fun and different and good, you know, just like the charcuterie boards and things like that. I like doing those, even though they take a lot of steps to put them together, they're still a simple meal, if you know what I mean. I don't know, but we like to do that kind of stuff and we don't do it very often. And I said, we need to do this, you know, like little finger foods, party foods. Let's do this sometimes because, um, it just makes it fun. Anyway, so that's what we did um, on Thursday night. And then Friday night, we had cube steaks, a baked potato, and salad. And Selena had uh, mashed potatoes because she doesn't eat baked potatoes. I don't know why, but she doesn't. She used to, but she doesn't anymore. And then Saturday night, I didn't have anything planned because the kids were supposed to come. But they ended up not coming. Um, so... I didn't have anything planned, so I didn't know what I was going to do, and I was like, well, what do you want? And Noah said, I want some cheesy tuna stuff you used to make. And I'm like, uh, you mean tuna helper from the box? He was like, yeah. I said, I don't have any of that, and I don't want to go to the grocery store. So I made one up, and Jeff and Noah both said that it was better than the box stuff. So, if you guys want to see that recipe, <laughs> let me know. I still used things like I used the um, cheddar um, soup stuff from Campbell's, you know, that in the can, like you do the condensed milk. I mean, not condensed milk. Hello. That's where I put my coffee. Oh, I need some more coffee. But, like, the condensed cream of chicken, cream of mushroom is, like, that type of can. I used one of those, the cheddar cheese. I had bought it because I saw Fallon from Moss Family TV. She had used it in something. I have no clue what she used it in now. But I was like, oh, well, that looks like it'd be good. I'm going to get some of that. So, I was in the store one day, months ago, and bought it. It come in handy this week because I made it with the... That can of stuff, I used cream of chicken, um, two cans of tuna, uh, let's see, egg noodles, of course, some milk, black pepper, um, cheddar cheese, and I think that's all, because they didn't want any herbs or anything in it. Usually, it seems like there's herbs in the kind from the store, but anyways, I made a tuna casserole. That's what I called it because I did write it down so I could tell you guys. So that's what we had for dinner this week. It turned out to be a pretty good week with our meals. We had um, very filling, yummy meals. And we had one fin for yourself, as I said. Uh, we do, you need to have those sometimes if you cook at home quite a bit. You do need to have the fin for yourself or leftover nights because if not, you'll be throwing away a lot. So. That's what we did, and I have got this week's ready um, every day except Saturday because hopefully the kids will get to come this time uh, because I know Judy wants to go back and see Julie, but, um, well, Judy and David both want to go um, see their baby, but anyway, I'm going to go. Oh, I also got all the Christmas taken down finally. Um, we usually take it down like the day after 
New Year's, but uh, we just weren't feeling it. I was not feeling well, and Jeff was like, it's fine, it can stay up. So we got to enjoy it a little bit longer, but then finally I was like, yeah, we need to put it away because I need to be able to vacuum and dust and things like that. So that's what we did. This weekend got everything down and put away, and it's there's a big spot over there that's... nothing <laughs> that's part of jeff's christmas right there not all of it there's a fan there too <laughs> the fan was one that um messed up and um it wasn't even it was no it was just a year old but it had three-year warranty so we had to contact rigid anyway let's not talk about that anymore i have not been on here much lately so i'm kind of talky talky you will see this week i know you will see this video if the internet holds out, it should. It's the new internet. You will see a grocery haul. The first one for the low spend. Um, and I don't know if you'll see anything else this week or not. I'm planning on doing the Bible study tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Because I am recording this on Monday morning. I am planning on doing um, the Bible study. So we'll see. I don't know if my voice will hold out, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> but if you guys watch this and you're like, well, just don't do it this week, you know, just go ahead and let me know if you would rather me wait, which I know next week I will not be able to do the Tuesday's Bible study because Noah has a doctor's appointment, um, an ear, nose, and throat doctor. He's been having some problems for a couple of years, like before all the stuff started happening. It's been a long time. But, um, he's gotten to the point where he can't smell out of one side of his nose, and uh, the doctor thinks it's something where that it grew oddly. Like, his nose looks straight and everything, but something on the inside, and it's he said it's a simple surgery to fix it. He sent him for a CAT scan. We gotta go back next Tuesday to get the results for the CAT scan. Um, and Noah wants me to go with him for that. I didn't go with him the first part or for the cat scan, but he um, wants me to go with him for that. And um, the doctor said normally people don't notice this until they're in their late 30s. And he's only 23. So if they have this problem, but it is like, I think he said four out of five people have it or something like that. I don't know. Exactly. I can't remember. He, he, all this stuff, whenever he went to the doctor and everything, because they weren't sick. Um, all that stuff was happening, like, when I was not feeling my greatest. So, I don't know. Whenever he went to the doctor, I can't remember everything he said. Let's just put it that way. Uh, but I do know that he said it was something to do with something on the inside that kind of grew funny or something. I don't know. Anyway, next Tuesday, I won't be doing the study on the 18th. I won't be doing the study. But um, I plan on doing it tomorrow, which is the 11th. So, I will see you guys later. Like I said, if you normally come to my study and you see this and you're like, no, don't do it, don't wear your voice out, let me know because... I can do it and just have me bunches of water <laughs> to keep and, and and these things <laughs> to keep my voice going. And it'll be all right. So I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, don't take me with Nicholas and be sweet.